Uh, hey there everyone, so this is going to be my second video on attack of our Terrier Car Pulse. The first one that I made was just an explanation of just how to do it while actually using a strategy that wasn't cheese. I've had a lot of people recently ask me how just, just an easy way to get S rank on normal or hard mode that didn't even involve any skill. Because I do understand that the other one for me, while being a bit easy with dodging, may not work for other people. So this one is going to cheese it so they can't even shoot back at you. Okay, so the main caveat of this is that you have to understand how hitboxes on walls work. The main thing is that while bullets can't go through the outside of the wall, if the bullet starts inside the wall, because let's say the guns are in the wall, they will shoot through, not break trying to exit and will hit people through the other side. So just, we are, Oak, Oak is a, we are going to start with the body parts here. The head doesn't matter, technically compared to this setup, the, the, the AN02 is probably better. You want a short core be, for the main reason of this, which is that these arms for the uh, le, uh, le, higher arms are very long because the core itself is actually much taller. So for blading in regular angles, th the longer arms on this taller core than basically every, every single other core tries to line it at basically the same height. So by, so by doing this, because the wall we're going to be using for this is angled, this now makes it easier to get it into the wall because the arms will be having the guns through. The other thing is if you're using a biped, it's much easier. While this can be done using a biped AC, the reason I have the tank legs is that this lets us put a second set of, of, of like rifles into the hangers. So for people who may be not as good, don't wanna have to time it as well or anything like that, you can now use this setup to get a second set of rifles to basically double the ammo. For the FCS, we're going with the Hogeyer because you can tune it so the lock speed is very high. And you do want a bit longer lock distance because locking on through walls is also kind of weird and has a range penalty. So the in blue makes it a bit tough to get the, to get the actual angle and everything down. This just makes it a, gives you a lot more actual leeway on there while still having decent lock speed. As for the energy output, I mean, so you just want to fly. The tank to, takes care of itself. These don't matter, but this is lightweight EN cost and this is also just the lightest here. So for the rifles have the assault rifle 063 Anars. The accuracy is nice, ballistic velocity is nice, the melee ability is nice so it can keep up with them and it fires fast. These are for the same thing. We're gonna just use these to shoot uh, Starva coming in because he likes to dodge and then drop them. And then hangers are the uh, Badias. Honestly the rifles don't matter. Just make sure you have decent ammo ones because you may miss a lot if you don't know what you're doing with them. Or just, why even risk it when you can just not risk it? <laughs> Notice this gains energy while flying. You'll never have to quick boost once you're doing this. So yeah, as long as you gain energy while flying, you're basically set for whatever generator you want. For actual tuning, I would recommend lock speed and and then just aim aim a, pre, a precision on the arm while it may not really matter. And then if you have anything left, EN output. And this is also the hard mode version that has five, just to show you for that as well. I mean, you can probably stop watching the video after like another minute. Starv is dead, gonna drop these. So, notice there is a thing here, on the top part there. This will basically wedge them here. And you can see there's currently numbers appearing on the top of the green circle. Maybe a bit hard to see. That, those, okay, so as you can see, there are currently numbers popping up as well as, his, as their primal armor is going down. And you don't have to focus one person. It's better if you can because of primal armor. But if people are walking away or while they're chasing old king around, you don't have to shoot. It's not based on time. You can take as long as you want. Just note that because of the short core and long arms, the guns are now inside the wall, which is why they're shooting through. 
And now that Old King's dead, they should all just crowd here. And while, and, and while I say it's not optimal that you keep changing target, you can also use this thing here to help keep you up or help keep you in place while you shoot. Just fly into the corner. I mean, this, this isn't going to be the fastest way, but it, it, you know, it, it works. And that should be about where they get stuck on that corner piece over there. So this is technically the best spot to try and shoot them at. Notice I can't shoot with the shoot with the outside arm once they start to turn you a bit, but you can just keep shooting with the arm that's still inside the wall. Like now I can still use the well now I can't because he moved all the way over. The trick is when they when they fly up, don't chase them up because that will get them over sorry, over the wall, and you don't want them coming over the wall. Saying these assault rifles that I'm currently using are not necessarily the best ones. Two regular rifles are probably better, but again, I didn't really put too much thought into besides having ammo because you're gonna have way more than you need. Now these are these are the actual good rifles inside the set that I'm currently using. So e so you can do it on normal with just these two. You don't need any of any of the other jazz I was doing. These ones are very nice. They are a lot better in PvE than PvP. But for this purpose they get the job done. And, and this corner is also why we have these like longer arms. It's just it's easier to get the arms inside. Notice while I'm sliding along the wall, only using a single arm. And just based on the current dodging, this is probably Rider Plush. And then we're done. There we go. Easy. Soon after, the blood of the innocents would rain down from the cradles, all at the hands of a single lynx. They don't get to shoot. One who will be the you can shoot at them. Basically, zero ammo spent. Easy S. Yes. Also, I will say a bunch of people did comment on the on the prior say on the say on the like prior video of using laser rifles or other things for it. It doesn't have to be rifles. Anything that sticks inside inside the wall works. I didn't want to say before, I didn't want to share this at the start because I like people actually doing the apex fight of the series properly and still heavily recommend at least beating it on your own without using this. But, but when you're just going for the S rank at that point, if you really don't care, just do this. Thanks everyone and have a great day.